Hey guys, good morning. Hope you can hear me. My voice is a bit down, so let's hope it's clear for everybody. Welcome to the London session. Uh, I know there's a delay, so I will take me take over 30 seconds for you to tell me if everything is okay, if the sound is okay, and if you can hear me clearly. Okay, great. I would try my best. Uh, I really don't want to postpone these sessions, but if uh, if needs be by the end of today, I will let you know if you know if it gets worse, we'll postpone them. As long as you understand what I say, I think we can go ahead, right? It's just a slight thing in the throat. Good. So let's start. Dollar index. I'm gonna go really fast because if you if you're watching this video for the first time today and you don't you don't get all the details. Watch the videos we did yesterday because there's more details in there. Today, I'll just go through them really quick because you already know the structure we're looking at. So yesterday, I told you this was probably drop one more, make a, make a flat, drop one more here. Turns out it's an expanding flat. They're going to drop here and then we expect this move up. So if you're going to sell here, you would definitely need a flag because we don't have any flag. Yesterday, I warned if you get a flag, then you sell. There was no flag. It actually went right back up. So what we're going to do today, if this is going to go really far, we need a flag here to sell. If we get a flag, we sell. If not, what I believe is going to happen is it's going to drop here, go back up there, give us a flag, and we buy to retest the stock. Something like this. And then we get that drop. So all in all, in all what you're making is a really big corrective structure for upside. Right? So, all by the way, all your questions, keep them to the end. At the end, we will take questions, right? Hi, Vidu. By the way, I met Avidu yesterday, one of our traders. Thanks for the dinner. It was amazing, and you know, it's a pleasure meeting you. One of our traders who came to Dubai for vacation. And anytime any of you guys are in Dubai, please send me a message. We will definitely catch up for coffee. I really do enjoy the company and enjoy meeting people, so don't be shy about it. Even if you're not in the group. And as long as you're in Dubai and you think, hey, I know you from you know from YouTube, from some trading, just ping me up and if you're a trader, we'll definitely catch up. Basically if you if you just want to catch up, we'll catch up. You don't have to be a trader. Alright, so let's go. Uh, warning. I will be making some random coughs, so I might not be able to mute my right side if you're listening in an earpiece. Please lower it a little, so enough so you hear me. But if I do cough and it's a little loud, it wouldn't make you, you know, it wouldn't deafen you a little, right? So let's go. Uh, I don't mind doing this all day as long as the voice is not a problem for you guys, right? So let's go. We would not sell it. Don't jump into the cell. Wait for it to come, and we might get this trade today. If it's gonna go down more, it will make a flag, and that would be our trade. So let's go silver yesterday and i think this is where you're going to learn remember what i said it's not about the entry it is about how you manage your trade this trade if you manage it properly is what we call a positive break-even trade now by our rules my traders would have to close the trade here they would have to get out of that trade and then if it drops they will get right back in right now like i said there's a possibility it does this and it works go back up now, what I can see from the way it's going up is it's not making an impulse up, is that we might end up making a flat like this. So this one going up is more of a consolidation. So what you could probably expect is that it's probably gonna do this, go up slowly. We might even get a buy setup like this. If we do get a buy setup to retest the top, we'll take it. And then from there, we're probably gonna get this. If we get that flat, it's an up move. The up move from the flats are good, this move would be okay and this move should be okay now in this move you might not get much i really don't think it's going to go very far so there is no buy setup in it so i'll take this off now like i said we're going to show you what we did with every trade this is no hindsight business uh, talking about hindsight business i noticed another one of the um there's another new wave wave something blah 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 wave again YouTube thing that came up and for some reason they're all popping up on my YouTube when I go there to do anything in YouTube. 
So this one is new, and the reason I take a look at it is because the charts are exactly like mine. I mean, they're a copy of my charts. They look exactly the same color, same design, same style, same, even these lines are blue, these lines are yellow. It's like, I'm like, that's my chart. So I decided to take a look. The amazing thing is the trader is showing everybody all the amazing trades they took. Yes, he was like, yeah, we sold this one and we sold that one. And we, we did, and he didn't make a single forecast for like five minutes that I look at the video. So he showed about four pairs in that five minutes, but not as, all of them were trades that they took that are amazing. And I think one of them he showed was a trade I showed, the forecast I showed a long time was, I think it was in the Euro Swiss. I know that's mine because nobody else looks at the chart that way because that was a confusing piece. It was really confusing and I break it up in the trading room and we showed it. That's beyond the point. The thing is it dropped 400 pips. We barely got about two trades out of it. In reality, we barely got about two trades of the drop because the drop was miserable. It dropped 400 pips and we only made two real trades out of it that were profitable. The rest of the trades, if you tried to take them, you would have gone break even. This guy did the most amazing thing I would see anybody does. He got, he went back and he said, you see, we made this forecast here. And look, it dropped 400 pips. That's 400 pips we gave you for free. And I'm like, dude, you don't, you can't do that. That's like, that's way out of line. Because if you were trading real money in real time, you would never do that. That's not something you do in reality. That's not real. You can go hindsight and say, I can tell everybody I give them 10,000 pips on the on the pound on the pound dollar when I forecast the drop from thirty seven or whatever with the point one point thirty seven or something like that. I can say I give you ten thousand pips there, but that's not real. Right? Real trading is different. You can go and watch it drop hindsight this much and say, Oh, that was an amazing trade you got. No, you try trading it and see if that happens. So this is the difference. Like I said, the the difference between real traders and people who think they're trading is the ability to manage your trades. It's not about entering a trade. It's not about where it's going to go eventually. It's how do you manage the trades you're in. Because if you think you're going to get that 400 pips, I can show you on the very same charts, somewhere you would enter. And if you didn't close that trade early, it will go 400 pips against you. You would literally have 400 pips against if you didn't close it. So you just aren't going to hold a trade forever unless you're an investor. And even if you're an investor, I showed why you should not do that on the, um, on the, the I think it was the XRP for the investor guy who was in the, in the, in the room at the time, right? So we, I want to warn you guys, this is super important. The way you manage a trade is going to de determine whether you're successful. I know you're going to make successful trades. All of you will. But one, two, or three very bad trades are going to destroy your account if you do not know how to manage your trades, if you don't learn the discipline of manage, managing your trades. And I can tell you, traders, sometimes I myself get a little slack in the discipline, and I know I should close that trade, and I'm like, okay, I'll just, it's okay, it'll probably go. And end up giving back, there are like three trades we gave back last week when we were testing something that we gave back about 80, 90 pips on it, take it break even. And if I hadn't taken the break even after 90 pips, I would have been about 200 pips upside down right now. So that is the difference. In, for retail traders, that is what will make the difference for you. Your ability to deal with bad trades, not your ability to make a successful trade. Anybody can do that. It's more of, you know, you just click and, hey, luck is in your way, you'll make a good one. So let's go back to this. It dropped. Remember what I said, only the aggressive traders will take it? And remember why we didn't call this trade in the room? I told you it's going to come here. I don't know how far it's going to go, but it is going to go right back up. So only very aggressive traders could get it. And one of our traders was in it, right? I think Joji was in that trade. When I said, okay, manage your trade as it comes and it breaks us low, she would know that the ones who started to pull back, get the hell out of the trade, take your profit and walk away. Right? So... What you're going to do here is when you when you come out here and you look at this, is that once it drop here, what we had is a one, two, three. Now what is going to happen? Remember, this is still a very sharp wave in here. I want to stress a little on this. This is still a very sharp wave here. What that means, and again, we don't. I'm not putting it as an expanding flat as yet. That is a possibility. You can make an argument that what if this is an expanding flat? 
Well, if this is an expanding flat, we have one, we have two, we have three, we have four, and we're going for five. Now, this doesn't look very, you know, you see this one went really far. This one is now going really fast, right? So this one here is telling me that at some point in time, they might drop again. So if this starts to drop again, this is what we will call a core correction. If this drops here again, this means this will become the core correction and everything starts from that point. Up, down, up, drop, go back up. See, once you find the core correction, that's where the count starts. All right? So, <clears throat> one second, guys. Yep. Oh, by the way, if you guys are typing any questions there, you may want to keep it to the end because... I am no, no, I'm I'm okay. Thank you for your uh, concerns. I am feeling very well, except for my voice. So let's go with this. If I'm not sicker, so it's just my voice got really weird. <laughs> it's got hers. So let's put it this way: If the voice is okay, can you guys hear me clearly? You understand what I'm saying, right? Because if the voice is bothering you, I'll definitely not do it. If it's clear, I'm okay. I'm not sick. I have no fever. No, nothing serious. It's pretty much okay. It's just the voice is a little weird, right? So, what you're gonna do here now, if you took off this one, you should be out of this trade. We're not selling or buying at the moment, so we'll take this off now. We're not doing any trade, right? So, thank you for that. Once I'm clear, it's okay. So, what we're gonna do with this is we, it could drop, but we're not selling it as yet because even if it drops, it's not a big drop. To the upside, we don't have any buy setup. I do believe they might break the top, but we really don't have any buy setup. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna wait some more on this one before a trade. My most likely be belief is I can, I'll show you what I think most likely I think it's gonna do is they're gonna drop here, break this low again, and then go back up. So if you're an aggressive, again, if you're an aggressive trader, you would put an entry order here. Only for aggressive traders, you'll put an entry order here and you'll target the low. Now, if you're not an aggressive trader, don't do that because when this thing tank you, it's going to pull back. And you would have to be able to manage that trade. If you can't manage the trade, you're going to get yourself a problem. If it's going up more, well, then you don't have a setup. You just have to let it go. Euro. Yeah, Euro went up, broke the top, came back down, and now you should start to look for a setup. So when you get all of this, and if this starts to go back up, you're thinking, well, do I have an expanding flat in there? And if I have an expanding flat in there, can this go back up here? Somewhere here would have been a buy setup at a 15. Let me see if we have a 15 minutes flat there. I wasn't there. I wasn't looking. Yeah, but we do have a we have a really nice 15 minute running flat there. For my traders, if you were going to trade this up, this would be your buy. After you would have put this as an expanding flat. Let's say you didn't do that. Sometimes that happens. You didn't see it. You're not. You weren't sure what it's going to do. Just leave it. It just broke the top again. It, remember, this one is going to come back down. So all we have is a flat here. I think we'll go in expanding flat in the middle of this piece. And this goes there. Well, when it breaks the top, I don't see them going very far. There's a good chance this one is going to come back here. So if we get any sell set up today, we'll go with it. What if they're actually taking off? Well, at this point here, above the top. You remember what I said yesterday? Above the top, you need a flat. So yesterday they broke. They didn't make a flag. If they make a flag today, we go with it. If they don't make a flag, reverse, give us a small one, and we sell it. Punk. Okay. Punk came down pretty strong. I don't know if any one of you got aggressive in it. If you did, you, you better close the trade. It's going back up really strong too soon. Now, now we're left with how we... Do we leave that for a future running flat or a future flat? I think that's a possibility. Or do we look at this one as the running flat? But this piece belongs to itself. We'll come back to that piece. What I'm looking for here is what happens in this piece here. This move is pretty strong. So if you make a flag here, we will buy. If it makes a flag, we'll buy. We would make the assumption that they're making a running flag. It will come back here and then go. And the reason we'll take it is because this could belong to somewhere, something in the past here. And that means this one will take off. So if we get any flag, we'll buy. If we don't get any flag, which means if this just come back here and start to you know, be like this, instead of a flag, you get a flag. We will let it drop, and then we'll start buying. So right now, all you have is two sharp waves. Two sharp waves is never a pattern. Wait. So I'll take this off, because we don't even have a sense of direction. Euro, I'll take this off. 
this one I think is a short term sell. You can go with that. I'll put that as an aggressive sell. And silver, well, we have silver. We're looking for a sell setup. We don't have this sell anymore. But I'll keep track of this one for a sell setup. I think we're making a bigger flat. So I'll keep track of this one here for a possible sell setup. So I'll put this as a possible sell setup. Not a sell as yet, but a sell setup. Euro, we don't have anything in it right now. Pong, we don't have anything in it right now. Aussie. Aussie came down, went to back. I don't think we have the sharp one. So now if we get a sell setup, we'll go with it. Let's see in the 50. <clears throat> uh, we don't have a flag as yet, but if we get a flag, we'll sell it. So what I want to see here is a 15-minute flag. By the way, if any one of you bought that, well done. All right? What we're waiting for is a 15-minute flag, and then we're going to take that trade down. If it stays in this consolidation, we'll buy one, one more. Just like this one, right? If it stays in the consolidation, you buy one more. But if it makes a 15-minute flag, we start selling. You can't trade it at the moment. There's no reason to trade that unless it either makes a flag or a flat. If this is totally taking off, and I think there's a good chance we're totally taking off, there's a good chance this is just a one, two, three. If you put it like this, it's like this. Yeah, this is just one, two, three, and we're going up totally. If that's the case, they will, you'll probably get a deeper correction here. See, this thing made a lot of deep corrections here. We'll probably get a deeper correction here and then take off. So we'll look for the sell setup for the deeper correction. If we're wrong about that, I don't see them actually doing this. I, I think that's out. I think the, the big downside is out, but a bigger correction here is possible. So we'll come here and we'll wait for the deeper corrections. We don't have a sell setup as yet, and there is no buy setup. New Zealand, it dropped and it's going back up. So this would have been waiting for a sell setup. Let's see if we have the sell. You could have been in this sell already. There's a good chance some of you might have taken this sell in the Asian session. If you took that one and tag, you go back close the trade here. Don't keep it because they did tag the low. I don't think this one is going to go up totally. We will end up in a bigger flat here. So if I take this out, I think this whole piece would be a bigger flat. This is a one. All of this will be a two. You'll come back here for a three. I think we will put this as a more of an expanding flat. So you get one, two, three. They should come back here at some point. Come back here and then go. We'll look for a sell setup if we get it. Don't try to buy it where it is right now because there's a good chance it's going to come back then. Well, we're going to make another flat. I don't think it's going to be as big as this one, but because this first impulse was pretty sharp, this first impulse is not that sharp. Right? So, what we're going to do is we're going to wait for this to come here. Let it go there. Let it come back here and then buy. We might be able to sell that. Right? We might be able to sell one of that. Let's go. Still in the consolidation, and there is a one more up here before we drop. So I think that this one is going to go up a little here. Probably going to tag this top. It's a very small trade. I don't think you want to take the risk in that trade. Or maybe you take the risk because that is the one going out of this structure. This could also go out of this structure there, right? So when it comes here, get it breaking. <laughs> because if you look at it this way, right? This here by itself is a perfect flat, this piece. This is a good impulse. The problem is with this impulse. It's going really slow. And sometimes that happens, an impulse. This could also be a correction that goes one more down and then go up for the impulse. But if that's not the case, then this would probably go out of it. So here's what we can do. We can go into 50 minutes. I don't think we have a good buy setup, but we can make an argument for that and say, okay, what if we buy it above here? What if we buy somewhere above here? Right, with a target, I don't know. You put a stop here. And when it comes here, you get it to break even. If it breaks out, you stay with it. So let's say this thing, sorry. Let's say this one comes in. It, it comes here, but then it breaks out. You can stay with that. But when it comes to this level, you can put it to break even. If it drops, we wait for a flag and we'll sell it. Right? I don't think there's a chance they can break out. It, this could be one of those slow impulses that goes up in a lot of corrections. Right, so if you put this like this, I think this is a perfect flat pattern, all by itself. 
and this could just be a slow move that comes there, break, they stop and then drop. It will drop. Matters whether it's going to drop now or it's going to drop. I'm going to pull this just to say we are still in the correction. Right? For if this is going to come here and then drop. So we can put this for an aggressive buy. I will draw it in it so you will know what to do. So let me set it up as an aggressive buy. If it goes down from here, it doesn't matter. You can't sell it where it is. So we're going to look for a buy setup. We're going to target it just here, just around here. Just here for the stop. And you're going to target the break of this stop. When it comes here, that's break even. So we're targeting the break of this stop here for the downside. That's a two to one trade if it goes. If it doesn't go, well, we'll see. Swiss. Okay. We expect it to go. We expect it to come down. It went much higher. We had this like this yesterday. And it's going to go there and come. It went much higher. There was a really good sell setup. I don't know if anybody took it. There was a good sell setup here. I don't know if anyone of you guys got into the Asian session. That would have been a sell you definitely will take for this one to come down here. So, I wasn't there. I don't know. Any of the guys, you guys were in the trading room this morning. If anyone of you did, you should get that trade. So now we have this. I'm going to put it like this with an expanding flat in the middle. And we're coming down here. This one is probably, you know, the, the trade we're looking for is this one here, right? This much. So from there, I think they will, they will probably break the low. They don't have to break the low, but they could break the low. And once we break that low, there's a very good chance this goes right back up there. So let's go, go look at it again. The first trade, the first entry to the trade is a 15 minute flag that is gone. This one here, you can see it very clearly. There was a nice 15 minute flag here. If any one of you took that, it's amazing. If not, wait for another flag here. So they will make another flag somewhere, maybe a slightly bigger one. And then we're gonna go with that trade to break this low. Because if we jump in here, they just do this and come back really fast. And now the fact that they don't go back pretty high, where are you going to put a stop? See, so if you get a flag, it will give you an advantage that it's not stopping here, but it's going to continue to go. So we can put this wait for a flag sell. And CAD. Okay, so CAD broke out. Yesterday we were looking at CAD for a possibility that this here could be a flat. This whole piece here could be a flat. And then it's going to break through the bottom and then go back up. Okay, it's coming down, but not exactly the way I expected to come. I didn't expect this flat at the top there. What I was expecting is that it's probably going to just drop like this. Break the low reverse and then we get a trade. On the big picture of things, it doesn't need, it do, there's no need for this to go lower. Right, it could just go up from here. So the sell setup here is a little risky in that you will take the trade, but you have to know you have to manage it carefully. Right now, this is not a sell setup. That is actually a buy setup. If you put this like this, and you put it like this, I'll put it like this probably. Most put it like that. This would be the lower, this would be the low, depending which one is lower. I think this one is lower. So this could be, all of this is corrections. All of this here could be corrections. This is the drop. That's the upside. This is the correction. If that's the case, put an entry here for the buy. Put a stop under the low. And we're going for this trade. So we're coming back here to break this stop. So we're going up for this one. This is the trade we're going for. So what we can do is you can take this here, put a long position, entry there, stop just under the low, and we're trying to target this stop, the break of that top. That's all. all right, not a really big trade. We'll see how that goes. So how many trades are we going to get from there? One trade, or two trades, or three trades? Remember, you don't have to stay with this trade if it doesn't go. Now, can this work its way down to the bottom here slowly, slowly like this? Yes, if it didn't come there, we'll take off this trade. This trade will no longer be valid. It's only valid at this point if they go up now. 
So this trade is valid like for the next hour. It has to go now. It can't go lower. If it goes lower, it negates the possibility of an up, when instead it will be making a flat. So we can put this as an active buy setup. Euros. Okay, this one dropped. This one, like I said, these are channels. I don't know if anybody had your entry order. Make sure you, you pull out some profit of it if you have the entry order. But not only did they break out, they're actually breaking out and making a bigger consolidation. So you can take this off. That's a small one. See, this was a sign they were going to go up. But the up move didn't mean upside totally. It just means a bigger flat. And a bigger flat means you can sell. So if we're going to sell anything here, you can put an entry order under the low. You'll have to use a stop somewhere above this stop here or slightly even higher for the move to the downside. Where would the move take us? I don't know, one more drop. Go one more at a time. We're breaking out of the up structure, right? We're breaking out of the uptrend. Uh, the bigger uptrend, that would be the daily one. Right? If we put it as a daily trend up, we're kind of breaking out. And not only are we breaking out, we're making more sell setups, see? You're kind of breaking out and making. So this one could come, 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 come all the way back to the bottom here. Take that out, go back here. That one hour sell is a good idea. Like I said, if they consolidate, we sell. So it's consolidating for a sell setup. Let's go for it. Put an entry here, put a stop somewhere above the stop, and go for that trade. This would become a sell setup. Eurocad. Okay. It didn't actually go down. They actually went to back. So let's see how we're going to look at this now. Put it in a 15. The trade was if they're gonna break out here and they didn't. They actually this thing just keeps going up. So take this off, put it back here, put this here. This is one piece, right? It's still it's extending upwards. So this didn't trigger, we'll take it off, we'll take this off and we'll re look at what it has. Where are we in the bigger picture of things? Okay. So now we will make a running flat. This is still correction. All of this here is still correction. Take this off. All of this is still part of the correction. So we've got to move down. Take this out. We've got to move down. We're getting a move up. We're going to get a move down. We're going to make a flat here. And then we're going to get another move up. So that's the forecast now. So what I'm going to say is well, this is how we do it. We're going to wait for this move down. This is going to be this one. We're going to see if we can get that move down from here. And then we will be looking for the next move up. Now here's the question. Can this continue go, Continue to go? Can this piece here continue to go? Yep, absolutely. So what are you going to do if you want to buy? In this piece, I'll tell you. Let's say you were here and you drop here and pull back and drop here and pull back. I think this is where you probably would have got one buy. Not the best buy. That's the first one. This could have been your second buy. And that's a break even trade. So now you wait for it to consolidate here. If it stays here, you can go for another buy. You'll probably do that. Eventually, it will have to come back here. Right? Eventually, you will have to come back here. So this one here, when they come to the bottom here, this will go up. So we're, we're going to look at this and put it like this. So eventually, when they come back here, this would be the flat. I hope they drop today. If they drop today, then we get this flat. We get this flat here. And then we get the up move. Can this go up a lot from this point? I think you can go quite a lot. We'll see how far they go. It, will, it might just be a bigger flat, bigger correction for downside. So this might all just be a one, two, three for downside. Go back here and wait. We don't have a trade as of yet. We, I'll take this off because it didn't stop there. I'll take this off because it, this is just showing you the forecast. So here, if, we, if we're going to get a buy set up, it has to be a flag. It has to stay here for a while, and then we're going to buy. As of now, we can look for a sell setup. We don't have a sell setup either. It's not dropping for a sell as yet. But if it starts to drop, we'll get it. So we'll wait on this one. Euro New Zealand. And here's a good reason. Remember yesterday we sold this and we closed it? This was here. We closed it, we put the entry under the low. 
and I took a long time explaining why that is what you should do. So that doesn't mean it's not going to go. That means they're making a deeper correction. Now, can we sell it again for the downside? Let's see. Yeah, I think we can do that because we are actually in this one still. Right? We're still in this. Do we have a sell setup? Uh, okay, you got to be careful here. If we get a flag here, that would be much better. Come to the 15. If this makes a flag here, that would be much better for the sell. But if you don't have a flag, then the closest you can go is probably putting your intruder here. We will repeat the same process. You will sell. Let's see if we can get a flag. If we can get a flag here, that would be much better. Small flag like this. You can sell here and put the stop here. If you put this entry here, you have to put the stop here. Right, that is where this is safe for the stop. And we're trying to get one more move to the downside. Let's see where that takes us. So this is the sell setup that is active. Here we end. Nothing as yet. It's still going up. Like I said, that's upside. We're waiting for a sell setup. I'm not interested in this buy. Even if it breaks this stop, I'm not interested. I'm interested in the sell. So at any point we get the sell setup, we'll take it. It's not there as yet. So this one is more flat like this, contracting flat. Let it break the top, we'll see. Uh, if the stars will come down, give us a flag, we'll sell. Euro Swiss. Okay. So yesterday, those who were in this, I think you managed to close it. I said, let it break that top, and now we will be looking for the downside. So there's a good chance this is a one, two, three. And we are coming down back to make a new low. This here would have been a good sell if you sell, if you took the chance. If you didn't, then wait for a flag now and then we sell. So two things we're going to look for. This would eventually happen, but not now because that is a flat. I think we'll get it first here. We'll get this first here. And then we're going to get that up. Right? So you got a big flat here. You got a big flat here, you drop. You got a big flat here, you drop. But let's go. So, if we get a flag here today, we're selling for break the low. Break this low, and then go back up. We still have this one here hiding, right? So, come back into 15. Wait for a sell setup. Can this go higher? Well, it's easy. If you think it's going to go higher, put an entry order for the buy. Let's say you think, well, what if this is going to be the one to take off with a really deep pull back here? Make your life easy. Put an entry order here for the buy. If it doesn't go up, that buy will never be tagged. So we can put this as an active buy. The trade we're looking for is a sell. But you can put an insurer right there, right now. If they do this, this would be a flag and this would be the continuation of this one up. Now, because we have a really big flat there, there's a good chance this is a one, two, three that comes down. So the only way you get this sell is to prove. First, if you were in this one, that would have been a good sell. If you're not in that one, then wait for this to make a flag, and then we will sell. But if it goes up, you definitely want to buy. So you can go with a buy and wait for the sell, basically. Europan, okay, it went a little higher. We expected to go, it came there, and now we're looking for the downside. Once you make the running flat, you're expecting this to come back here. Put it like that. That's your running flat. Now you're coming down. Wait for a flag here. Sell. So all we need is a little flag here. And then, well, that was a big flag, but we need a small one, and we're going for this trade. This is the trade we're looking for. So let's see if we get the flag. Wait for a sell setup. Pause. It's going sideways, so we're going to go some more down. And then we're going to look for the upstairs. So this will probably go down some more. Consolidate, drop, and then the upside. The upside is not coming now, so you can take this out. It's probably going to come later. We do have a sell setup here. Right? There is no sell setup. You kind of get this one here, drop. I think it even went up to come back, so that could be a small flat. This will probably work its way up a little more. And then we look for the sell setup. So just leave that for now. We're looking for a sell setup. Okay, this from a flat that became a really big flat, it went lower. 
that is going up. So if you were there trading yesterday, I think not this one, but this one could have been a buy. This one here was more like a flat, so you would not buy that, but you would buy this one. It's going to go up and break the top. Let's see the bigger picture where this is going. More upside. So if we get a flag, we'll buy. Because this is going to go first. It's, it's going to go one. One, two. They're going to get there, and then we might even break out. So wait for a flag here, and we're going to go for that trade. There's a good chance you will get a flag. There's no flag right now. It will make a smaller flag. They're making a flag here right now, right? See this piece here is to already pull back. So they're starting to consolidate here. And if we get this, we go for that trade. Pang yen. Nope. This drop was good, but we didn't get any uh, thing. It's pulling back pretty deep. It's still a sell. I still think we go with the sell setup. Put it in a 15. Let's see if we can get a sell from the top. Not as yet, but if we get a flag here, we'll sell it. So you see these flags, these small ones. We want this to drop, make a small flag, and then we sell it. First, we're coming to break this law. And then there's a chance we break through. So look for that sell setup. The only way you don't sell this anymore is if it, if it consolidates here. And make one more up then we would look for this as a possible flat come back here and then go up but as it stand right now this cell is a good one Park Swiss. i think we looked at this in details yesterday the bigger picture the big flat we broke this top now we need to break this up and then turn well, they almost break it, so there's a good chance they're going to go one more. I let me just let me just check something. No, we don't really necessarily need to break the top. Sorry about that. They don't need to be a running flat. They don't need to break the top. So if we get a sell set up here, we're going for it today. Let me see the 15, what it looks like. Yep, looks good to me. Okay, you have this. I want to exclude this running flat. I want to exclude this one. The possibility of this running flat here and one more up see so that could be a running flat and this could go one more up here and then drop so what we're going to do is we're going to you're not going to sell it as yet because if it's a running flat you'll get yourself in trouble and we still have this sharp one here so we have a lot of sharp ones in here not unfulfilled okay we'll see where to put that so what we're going to do here is if this goes back up we wait for it to come down wait for a flag so if it stays here make a flag we'll go for the trade most likely it'll go up and then come down and even if it if we even if we're gonna get this we're not necessarily we're gonna get this this could also be an expanding flat here right so we might not necessarily get this from the top here we're looking for a cell setup let's wait for it New Zealand. That was your sell yesterday. You should have closed that trade. There are two things you should have done with this trade. The first one is should have you should have closed it here and put the entry here. And the second one is you should have closed it here, put the entry here. That entry, once it goes up, you take off that entry. So what you're doing here now is you got a bigger flat. We just got ourselves a bigger flat for downside. So we're gonna take this entry on there, put it here. Put the stop right above, come on. Put the entry on here, put the stop right above this one. You can put the stop here if you want, slightly higher. And we're still targeting the bottom here. So we will probably put this like this. We're still targeting that trade. All right, so let's see if it drops out. This is a deeper correction, they could literally drop. So that'd be a sell setup. Aussie cat. Okay, I don't think this is the running flat. I don't think that has anything to do with the running flat, but it looks like we're going up. Can we look at these as smaller flats then, if that's the case? Like this here is a small flat. This is a small one, this is a small one, this is a small one. Let's look at them as each one is a small flat, then that will give you a channel. 
if you get a series of small flat like that, then you're in a channel. And as you see, you saw this morning and the channels that we have, they tend to break down if it's going up or up if it's going down. So what you want to, what you want this to do is, if it's going to drop, is come here, give you a flag, and then we sell. And that would be the sell setup. What if it's not a channel? What if they're just going slow and they're going to break out? I'm right about the top here, where it is right now, right? About not coming back to the low, but staying right there, you get something like this. You buy it, right? You get a flag there, we buy it. Right now, it's kind of starting a flag. You see this pullback, and now they're going back up. If that turns out to be a flag in the making, that would be a good buy setup. But you want to make sure it gets a flag. Don't jump into it. Aussie Swiss. You got a buy setup pretty easy. Put an entry here. Go for the trade. I think we've got a buy setup. This is going to go one more up. Eventually, this comes down. Right? One, two, three. So eventually it comes down. What you're going to watch for is one break of the top. Probably like this. Maybe a little, a little less. So if it goes up, that's the trade we're looking for. You can go with the entry right above the top and go with it. Keep a stop here. Let's hear that because that's a nice buy setup. If it doesn't go far, you'll get out because remember the bigger trade is downside, right? But we take every one that we get. So this is a buy setup. Aussie yet? Okay, it's still going up more. So if you if you if you bought this, well done. By the way, if you saw this flat, it you bought here. Keep it a break even though. Let's see if this goes because if this goes, we'll take out the structure. But if it turns, the structure is intact. So if you're in the buy, good for you. We're trying to see how high this can go before it comes back. And this structure, this is what we So that can go a little more. I don't think we've completed this one, but we'll see to that when the time comes. It could be a contracting flat we're looking at. All right, so let's go. Aussie, New Zealand, we're also looking for the sell. All right, for this one, that was the buy. This was the buy. If you were in the buy, you took it off now. If you were in the buy, you took it off. We want this to drop. Go on the flag and then go for the downside. So wait for that trade. Wait for the sell side. New Zealand cat. Upside. Now I hope some of you in the Asian session managed to take this trade because it made a flat air. The buy would have come here. I wasn't there this morning. Uh, if you bought it, you would have bought it here. I think this is a clear flat you can see it you don't need a lot more like a contracting flat but it's a really good flat so the buy should have been there this thing is gonna go i'm still in my first trade and that one is going amazing right not the first trade, the second trade the first trade was here i closed that one i under a second and i'm still in that one some of the traders who didn't enter this one entered this one they closed that trade there if you bought yesterday you close the trade this is your next buy this buy might go far enough for you to stay with it remember where this thing is gonna go so the, it's getting all the way to the top here. And it's moving really fast. So if you're in a trade already, great. If you're not in a trade, wait for a flag buy. So this would be wait for a flag buy at any given time. So right now there is no trade. It's already gone. You have to wait for a small flag and then get in the trade. New Zealand yet. Also, this one went up. This was this was this buy here, but it wouldn't be a buy. You'd have to put it somewhere here. There was a buy set up here. This one still go one more up. I don't think I would have taken this trade. Let me see where we are in the bigger picture. Yeah, we're pretty much back. This is going back pretty deep. Let me see the big picture, what it looks like. Okay, that thing is moving back really deep. It's almost about the seventh day, the sixth of this move. Take that out. So it's pretty deep, so you can still buy though. There's a lot to the top still. If you're if you're if it's getting back all the way to the top, it would have been a buy setup. This one, I didn't see the trade, so it's gone for us. 
We don't wait for another flag or we wait for reversal. Don't jump in the train at the top there. Take this off. New Zealand Swiss. Good trade. If you put it to break even, you should have closed it at the top here. So this was the trade we took yesterday. When it was here, I told you to put it to break even. When it did this and it started consolidating, here, close the trade. Don't keep it. Take the profit out and now you're going to buy again. So now we're going to move it. We're going to take this out there. Come on, don't do that. Yeah, you're going to put this here. Where is the profit? Ah, come on. Move that up. Put this here. Put this stop here. And you have one more trade. Where would that take as well? Let's go for one to one again. So this is here. That's six and seven. Let's go here. Not the fact that you're going to get one to one, but you go for one to one every time. Yep. Let's go for one to one every time. This is a nice trade. This thing could break out. Remember, this thing could break out of this structure. The reason we're taking that trade is because it could break out of this structure and never come back. Right? All this would be is a deep pullback. We didn't break that up. If that is not a deep pullback, then we might be coming back to retest this top. We could do this, come here, and then come back here. So the trade is a good one. I actually like it. So. That's a buy setup. Let's go. Canyon. Nothing. Nothing happened here, and we're still in the consolidation. Leave it alone. Cat Swiss. Okay, we didn't break that top, so if it makes a flag, we'll sell. I think we might be making a much bigger flat here. So if it makes a flag here, we'll sell it back to the low. Swiss yen. Okay, that was a very nice sell. If you sold it, you would have closed that trade here. But you see that consolidation there, that is where you close the trade. Now it's going back up, and I have no idea why they're going back so fast, unless we look at this as a possible contracting flat. If you look at this as a contracting flat, then yes, you can go back up. And if you're going to go back up from here, the only way we know for sure they're going to go back up is if it makes a flag. If this makes a flag here, then we'll buy it to go up, right? So if we get a flag, we'll go with the contracting flat, and we'll go with the buy. So I, I'm putting it as a contracting flat for now. I don't like that idea, but I'll put it like that. And let's wait for this to give us a flag here, just like you had a flag there. And then we'll take this straight up to break the top, all the way up to the top, right? So let's see. Let's wait on this. Natural gas. Buy is okay. If you're in the trade, you should put the buy lower. Say so make a new low. Your entry order should go here. And this is a buy setup. So you should be in that trade and it should be going. When it breaks the top, get it into profit. Because once they break the top, if they want to come down, they can come right back down. And I think it's going to go up much more, so I'm looking at it as a one, two, three. We're coming to break this up. But once it breaks that up, if I'm wrong, this is all the consolidation. This is one, two, three, and this one is going to drop. So when it breaks it up, get it in the profit, and we'll see how far it goes. Let's go. Oil. Nothing weight. If it consolidate here, we'll sell. It's starting to consolidate, so we will start to look for a sell setup here. It's not a sell setup as yet. We're waiting for the flag. That's not a flag. That is part of a flag for me, but we'll wait for the flag and then go for the trade. UK oil, same thing. S&P 500. Okay, this went up. If you bought I don't think this one, we were waiting for this to pull back and get a trade. I don't know if anybody got it. Take out this. That was an old one. If anybody got it, we were waiting for this to pull back. This one here to pull back a little. It pulled back, but not enough. I really didn't get that. So if you had an entry order here, you got a trade. If you didn't, well, the trade is gone. Now we're at the top of this structure. So let me show you. The very top of this whole big structure. And they're breaking out, so we'll take this and see how far they go. If they break out of this structure, we'll come back and assume that this could be all. And we're totally going up. 
So what we're going to do here is wait for this to make another flag. If you're not in wait for it to make another flag, it always does. That's that. Yeah, this would have been a buy. Yeah, this one could have been a buy right above the top here. I think this would have been the first buy. This this didn't pull back to. Actually, we wanted that pull back to get into this trade. So wait for the next flag if you miss it. No big deal. Let's go with this one here starting. Nope, definitely not buying this one. We haven't got this series yet. So there's going to be a pullback. And then go. Nifty. Nifty's at the top already. If you're in the trade, you should have been in the trade from here. From this here. Going up, if not, wait for another flag by. We're going to break this top here. Dax. Good buy setup. Just stay with it. It's going good. Move your stops. Same thing. Tesla. If you're buying, wait for a buy setup here. Put another buy setup here. It's going to come back a little, then go. So this should come back a little here. And then go. Bitcoin. Good. It's going up as we expected, but it's downside. This is a big flat for downside. They need to break this top, though. All right, this one is going up slowly here. It's going to go back like this. And then drop. This should drop one more. Drop, break this low, and then they can go up. All right? But this sell is, this first trade should be a sell to the downside. ETH should be the same thing. Yep, you're making a flat here. This is a sell. That was a sell. Look for a sell here. XRP, same thing. XRP is the only one that's going up. And I think XRP can break out of the structure. One, two, three. They should go up and break out. So this one, we don't have a sell setup. We're looking for a buy. Wait for a flag. Buy or put an entry above the top, whichever your choice is. Put the entry above the top here. Wait for a flag in here to buy. Aussie USD. Okay. Why is Aussie? Uh, sorry, ADA. Is Aussie. ADA. ADA is a buy setup. It's still valid. They came down as expected. But it's not going up as fast as we would like it to go. So yesterday we wanted this to come down. It came down. It's going up really slow. I don't like that. But keep your entry order. We'll see. If it keeps doing that, it means this climb is going to be really, really slow. So this is a buy. This one is a buy. Yep, I'm just above the top here. And this is a buy. This one should just, just above this top. Those are the buy setups. Let's go. Let's see what we have here. We have this one. Buy setup. We have linked. We didn't put the buy on the link, but I think you could... You could you could buy this, but it's short term because we're expecting this to drop more. BNB. Let's see if we hit the bottom. Nope, not as yet. I think there's more downside, so leave that alone. LTC. Upside. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, if this goes up and you get a flag here, you can take that trade to the upside. And then from there, downside again. So go to the one hour. No, you don't really have a one hour flag. You have a one hour sell setup flag. You have this as a sell setup in the one hour. Sorry. Take that out. It looks more like a sell than it looks like a buy. It should go up a little more. This year should go up a little more. But then there's a good chance it's going to drop. So I'll be more careful of this one because it didn't break the low. And XRP. Bison. I think we did this already. So we just finished everything. Complete the entire list of what we normally look at. Now what we're going to do is you're going to tell me which one tag, which one you want me to look at, and what questions you have. So let's see. Punk, change the direction for upside. Uh, nope. I don't see change in direction for upside. I'm not sure we, which change of direction you're talking about. This is still looks like a consolidation, so we can't assume that that is a change of direction as yet. So there's a good chance we either make a flat here, 
this game now, or we make this as a flat and wait for a flag here to buy. So basically, right now we're waiting for a flag to buy. We don't have a trade setup. It's going up, but that's not a buy setup. You just can't jump in the candle, so you have to wait. Um, have you ever heard of? It doesn't matter. We, do, we don't. Here's the thing: when I come here, I'm not trying to discuss people. I'm trying to discuss ideas that are used by people, right? Like what ideas they're using. I really don't mind what people do. Everybody has a right to do what they do. But when I make a comment, it's normally on. Like when I'm talking about that, about people showing hindsight, what I'm trying to warn you guys about is that if you see that, it looks amazing. But that's like a magician. Everything he shows you look amazing. You just don't know what he's actually doing. Trading is about reality. It's about forward. What I do here now. This is the trade. We show you the trade setup. And then we come back the next day. And then we said this is what happens to the trade. On a step-by-step -step notice. In our trading room, we do them almost candle by candle. So when you're in the trading room and you get to ask questions. You get to ask me questions here and you get to ask questions in general. Why did you close that trade? Why did we do it this way? What are we looking for differently? That's what I'm looking at. So it's more of a warning to you guys. I really don't care what people do. People have a right to do whatever the hell they want to do. You know they're selling New York garbage? Yeah, that's the thing. You can buy New York garbage. So people want to sell anything they want to sell. If there's a market for it, I have no objections. Not my problem. <laughs> if, if there's a market for anything and people want to sell it, why not? Right? You can only sell things that there's a market for. So I have no problem with people selling whatever they want to sell. I just love trade analysis, uh, wave analysis, and I really don't like when people are messing it up. Right? When they're taking something that is amazing and making it something that looks crazy. That's where I get the problem. Because this thing is amazing. It works great. Um, you got in the 15 magic. I am not sure which one was that, Colin. You'll have to tell me which one. But remember, when I'm reading the chat, I've already completed everything. So when you when you guys are making a comment about a specific pair, make sure you name the pair. When you say move your stop... Ah, well, there's a question. When you say move your stop on an ongoing profit double trade, how we can do this? Is there any percentage? Not necessarily percentage. First, you want to move your stop to break even. That's the first thing we try to do. Because remember, the whole thing is getting out of risk. Once you put a trade, you put your account at risk. And since your principal job as a trader is to defend your account and grow it, the number one thing you do when you put your account at risk is to get it out of risk. Right? If you understand that concept, as a trader, your number one goal is not to find a trade. It's to is to put your account at risk and get it out of risk. It's to make a trade that puts the account at risk, but then get out of that risk as fast as possible. And in the, in the process, grow your account. So every time you open a trade, what you do is you put a part of your account at risk. So if the trade is going good, it will take care of itself. You don't have to worry about it. If it's a moving, 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 moving trade, you will just have to take profit. Right? If the trade is not moving, then you have to manage it. So the first thing is you want to get the break even. And then the second thing is, depending on where it's making corrections, depends on how long-term you are on the trade, how short-term you are, how much more you think this trade can go. You can follow it on the 15-minute corrections and the one-hour corrections, whichever way you want to follow it. Uh, you should have a strategy of how to exit it if it's not going anymore. We have a series of strategies we use for that. And punk, and will it go down after testing the correction top? Let's look at Punk Cat for that. Uh, when you ask, you have to give me time frame. Oh, you mean, it will it go down? If it comes and tests this stop here, would it go down from here? Possible. Not necessary, but possible, because this is one, two. It can come here for three and retest the slow again. But there is no necessity for that, because if you look at it this way, on the four hour, this is what you have, right? So when it comes here, it can literally do this. You follow, right? There is no need for it to go down. It can just do that. 
But yeah, it could come here and come back here and go there and come back here and go there and come back here and then go. So I'm not making the assumption that it's going to, you know, from this point it's going to come back down. It could, but I'm not making that assumption. I'm saying trade it until the top, and when it gets to the top, then we'll see what happens. So right now all I want to do is just make a flag here. I want this to make a flag. We'll take this straight to the top, and when it gets here, we'll put this to break even. Worst case, we'll get break even. All right, so let's see. Um, down after testing, punk ad, that was a punk ad. Euro USD big picture upside. Euro USD big picture is upside. You watch yesterday's video, Alex. It's in there. I actually did. did, did, did uh, my voice is not so good today. So if it's something is in yesterday's video, I'll tell you. Watch yesterday's Euro video. You'll see. We did it in very detail. Uh, uh, I'm in gold. Sell from nineteen fifty six. Any suggestions? Let's go take a look. See what that is. Nineteen. You're in the cell from fifty-seven, fifty-six. You're in the cell from here. Oh, you should have exited that trade already. So what you're gonna do now? There is a slight first. You first. Here is a suggestion. You should have a stop because this thing could go all the way to the top here, all the way to this top, and then come back here. Now it will come back here. But you don't have to keep it with this because you don't know where it stops. Based on the pattern, this move is going to happen. So I would say to you, if this pulls back to your break even and it goes through good for you, when it comes to the bottom, remove that trade to positive. All right? So that's what I would do in the trade. Since I believe that, one second, this thing is moving. Once I believe that this is going to come back here, First, I'll put a stop, and the second thing is, if it comes here, I'll probably take a profit out here, or move my stop really tight. Now, what if this is going to go up more? Most likely, they'll start to consolidate there, and if they consolidate here, I'll close the trade. If I was in the trade and it consolidates here, it consolidates it here, I would close the trade, right? Because this is going to go up, and you don't need to you don't need to be with that up. So I hope that helps. Uh, New Zealand cat early this morning. Ah, the New Zealand cat. Okay, yeah, well, that one you can hold for a while. We're trading. I'm trading that more in the long term, not the five minutes. So you guys can say you weren't told about this, right? Because I did a webinar and I actually showed you. I started about two webinars with this and I told you what I think is going to do, what we are going to do, and then we're going to manage to see how much people, my entire group should be trading it. To see when it gets here and like i said there's a 99 if you go back and watch there's a 99.9 percent .9 chance it's gonna go there okay well 0 0.1 i'm always wrong it's going to get to this stop and the question is how much are you going to make when that is finally over now i'm in one trade that is going good which means i'm always going to be in a trade in the punk cat i'm always going to be in a buy in the punk cat i missed the buy this morning the next buy, I already took a few on, uh, buys out of it. The next buy that I missed would, would have been this buy here. But if anybody took that trade, great. Just keep it, manage it, watch it carefully. We'll see how it goes. When the cat starts to go up, this thing is going to go like a rocket. So every flag it makes, the firm now flag correction, you want to buy. Every flag, every correction, you want to buy into it. Right? So if you join us in the installment program, you will get to follow this on a daily basis with all the details in it, because we will do this every single day with every little details in it. And the idea is that if you want to learn to trade like this, then join the, we have a course starting. I think I mentioned that already on the 26th. So if you, if you can afford to join the course full, you should, if you'll have access, lifetime access to the group with every possible thing about trading that we do. I got knocked out on five minutes bar by bar trail. Oh, you should not trade this under five minutes. Like I said, it will, it will, it will be a disaster. There is a lot of small pullback that you don't need. You need to ignore, totally ignore them. So you gotta go up, not down under five minutes. Try to enter under fifteen or the one hour and stay with it under the one hour. 
um, DXY for our part three uh, will stay range bound. Uh, it is making a big sideways, so yes, it's range bound. The price is going to stay range bound, and we don't normally look at the price of staying range bound because it can be a regular flat, a running flat, a contracting flat, and expanding flat. So, assuming the range of it is more or less, I would assume that you got the top and the bottom of the range. It could break the bottom, it could break the top. So, we look at it mostly as patterns. And that's one, one of the reasons why I'm not on uh, Dukas TV. Dukas TV wanted me to be there and they said, well, we will every Monday morning we're going to have a session and we're going to invite you and you're going to come and you're going to tell traders where you think this week Euro is going to go or where this week is. And I said, well, that's not how we do it. right? I can show them a pattern and say where I think this pattern is going to go, but when it's going to go, that's a good question because I could say it's going to break out tomorrow and it might spend three more days in the, in the correction before it breaks out. It will break out. But when? I can't say that. We don't know when it's going to break out. She was like, no, we can't put that on TV. I'm like, well, sorry. I can't do anything about that. I can't go tell people to talk about things I have no idea. I talk about what I know and this is what I know. And she was like, no, 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 it's a panel. You have to sit in the panel and, you know, you have to give ideas and say why you think it's going to break up. But they don't have uh, anywhere to show show patterns and say, well, this is why. You'll have to go in the news and pretend you understand what the feds are going to do and, you know, and yes, and um, blah, 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 and then the feds are going to come out and they will probably do this and then they will say this and because they say that, this is what's going to happen. And those guys have no idea what they're talking about. You know how I know? You should go Google the interview with Alan Greenspan when he was interviewed by the Congress. After the 28, I think it was after the 28 crash. Alan Greenspan was the he was the um, the Fed chairman, and they invited him to Congress to testify as to why this happened. And he literally sat in that chair and said, "We thought we knew what the market was going to do. We thought we had it all covered. The market is going to self-correct. The market is going to do this." So, tech, I mean. Theoretically, we thought we knew it all. In reality, we were wrong. He said, he said, we were wrong. We had no idea what the hell is going to happen. And if he has no idea what the hell is going to happen, because he didn't see the crash coming, then any talking head on the TV or in any other place is pulling out of the very, the very dark place. That's where he's pulling it out because he has less information, which means he has absolutely no idea. Right? <clears throat> okay, great, Johan. So let's get this. Let's get this go to the top. I will see how many the other traders in the group are going with it, right? We have to do this challenge. We have to take the challenge so that you can know it will show you what you're going to do, right? So how you're going to, you know, trade in the future. And we know there's a lot of times when we see a big move coming, right? All of us, we see, and then it happened. Three months after we go and we look, wow, that was a big move. How did I miss it all? So what, what, what we have started doing now is we have started saying, let's take one and track it step by step. I'm going to go through it every single day, three times a day, five times a day, so that you understand what to do. So if it happens in the future, and it will happen in the future, after the New Zealand card, there will be another one and another one, and there is always one of them. At any given time, there is always a trend in the market. All we have to do as a group is find that trend and ride it like there is no tomorrow. So we found one now. I'm training you how to do it. And if you can do this one, then you can literally do any one. See? That's the point. So let's work on it. And we're going to show you, we're not blindly sitting in it. We're getting in and getting out. Some trades we're taking off, some trades we're keeping. We're still we're looking at the pattern. See, still the tabs. My stops will be moved. So if they pull back, I'll still get a partial of the profit. And we will still re-enter. We might even get into some sells if we realize that the correction is going to be much deeper. Then, yeah, why not get into some sells? See what happens there. Now, this could go up because of CAD. It could go up because of New Zealand. Because if you look at the CAD dollar, 
there is a big move to the upside. By the way, don't miss this cat trade if it goes. If it goes long, ignore it. But if it goes up, don't miss it because it's a big move to the upside. It's a really big move to this top. And then it's going to come down back. So if this move happens, the punk, the New Zealand cat will go. So don't miss this move. Get this move here. Because it's going to happen. Put the insurer in. Let, let's see if it happens. If it doesn't happen, you're not going to lose anything. You just take out the insurer. And then it's going to come here. But you remember, this is a big correction. Eventually, this will take off. And New Zealand could be going up on the daily. If you look at New Zealand dollar, look at New Zealand dollar. This thing here is it's freaking, it's, it's a correction. See? If this is not a correction, and even if it's a correction, it's a correction that's going upwards, right? Even if it's going to drop, they still need to make that much. But what if this is the one taking off? You might miss this one, but you're not missing the New Zealand card because you saw that clearly. And we're going to get this as well. So, can we get us? Well, that's what we're doing right now. Remember, the only thing I said you should be buying was the New Zealand dollar. If you remember when you came in Monday, the first thing I said Monday is we don't have a buy set up on the others, but buy New Zealand dollar. This was your first trade here to the upside. Because why? We figure out this one can go up quite a lot. So right now, this is not your entry. You're not supposed to enter there, right? Because this, this has to pull back. So let me take that out. That was the top. But if you want to enter, if you got to enter, take it off. There's a good chance. I don't think this is enough. I think this one will come back here and then go. It will be a bigger flat here. If not, let it make a flag. If not, let it make a flag. Because the flag is going to buy. Right? So it comes back here, make a flat, we buy it again. See? Okay, let's go. What else? Put that in the on the cat because if there's anything, do we have any cat news today, by the way? Let me just check, see. Oh, we had Pong news at 10 o'clock. My bad, guys. I was, I wasn't, I didn't want to pressure my throat, but I should have been there for the news. Nothing much happened. We have news today at four thirty dollar news. Okay, we'll be there to trade it. So all of you join us this afternoon and bring your friends over, bring people, all the traders you know that are struggling, that needs help, bring them over. <laughs> and in New Zealand CAD, uh, even if you have divergence, uh, yeah, we get divergence, but you will find where you're going to find is this could grow, 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 and it will. You will get a deeper correction, but I don't think it's going to be now. I think this one will still go. If you're not in the trade, all you need is a flag here to get in. Right. So I don't think the deeper correction is coming as yet. We're just we just broke out of this structure, right? Out of that big structure, we just broke out. Um, we will get a deeper correction, but I don't think it's, it's right now. It looks early. You see this thing, how this thing is going? Look at the magnet here. It's still going, right? If you look at it in the one hour, you can see slight divergence, but that is this correction. So it might still grow past and keep going. Momentum comes back in. Yeah, as a matter of fact, all the pound trades... You guys didn't see that? I showed it. All the pound trades are the daily. Look, start with the pound dollar. Let me give you the pound dollar one. They're just in consolidation. See this? Now, if this is going to go from here, we'll keep an eye. I don't think we expect... We expect it to do this. And is it, but if it comes back here and do this, we'll buy. We will buy. I, we might get this or we might get this. Here. So this here is a consolidation for a move up like this. See, that's one. I'm going to leave it in the daily. I'm going to go to the Pongos. This is a flat. See this flat forming here? See, there's one here. They go. There's another one here. Who says they don't go there? This happens. This happens. This happens. So right now, this is making one. See? Right now, this is making a flat here. You notice I have, I have an arrow here and I have an arrow up. I think this is about all we are going to get, and then upside. So keep your eyes for this one. Don't cut. 
we're looking at this as a possible running flat. You see the sharp move up here? They can literally make a sharp move up there, come back here, come back like this, and then go. That would be a perfect running flat. Or this just takes off. I'm good with that too. So we're looking for a buy set up here very soon. Pangyan. I think this is the only one that doesn't have a lot more upside. This one should pull back before it goes. Right, it probably will go, but I'm expecting a pullback here to some somewhere here because we have the sharp move down. So they'll, this one will pull back. This might be the end factor. Pang Swiss. This is the best of them. This is about the most amazing one. And it does have, you see this consolidation here? It does have one more here, which is a good trade. It probably will stay here for a while before it goes, but if it breaks out of this, we will take that trade up like, yep, we'll go with it. So we'll see. This would, when you see patterns like this, stick to them. Don't give up, stick to them, because the move to the upside is huge, and they sometimes go really fast. Look what happened here. See what happened here when this broke out? Boom. This was a small one, but look what happened when it break. Boom. See? So, who says this doesn't take off like a rocket? Come back here. Go to the one hour. You see, we, you see why we're tracking this here? Step by step. This We, we started buying. We, we started buying this one here. We thought that would go, and then this top came down back. We're like, okay. And then it did this. And like, this looks like a correction. Right? That looks like a correction. So if that's a correction then we're probably going to, you know, come back to the bottom here and then go. So, right now we're at the top. Either they're going to break out or they're going to come back here. Do we have a trade? No. Nope. We have a small running flat. Very small running flat. If you want to buy that small running flat, literally you're supposed to put an entry above the top, which I don't like because we're at the very top. So buying an entry above the top is a bad idea. Can we assume that's not a running flat? What if that is not a running flat? What if it's this one? Let's put it like this, right? What if this here was the running flat? Right? You could go one, one, two, three, four, five, come back here. This is the running flat or this one is a running flat? What if this was a one, two, three, a bigger flat here? This was a one, two, three up, a one, two, three up, come back here, come back there, and this is the top. Well, this is gonna make a flag here this afternoon. See? And we will sell it. So if it stays here until the next two, three hours, we're selling it. If it goes higher, let it break the top. I'm not interested. Because we're at the very, very top. But if it makes that correction in here, if you come here and this ends up being a correction, we'll sell it. See? Pretty simple. Just keep it that way. It probably will go down. The can might go down, but I'm not interested in the sell. So let it go down. If it takes off like a rocket, I better be in it, right? There is a possible flat there that, that is going to go down, but it's going down too slow, so I don't like the downside. And the downside is limited. It's only breaking the load, turning back up. Even if it goes down, it's just going to break the load, turn. That's all. So, okay, guys, it's a long webinar. Let me go save my voice for this afternoon. I'll see all of you in the New York session. Don't forget to invite your friends. Bring them across. They will learn something. If you miss any of the previous webinars, watch them, share them. There's a lot of stuff in there you can learn. I would thank you for coming, and I will see all of you this afternoon. I'll try to see what best I can do to this voice to make it better. All right? Thanks again for coming. Take care. Trade with care. See you this afternoon. Bye.